They often say it takes a village to raise a child, and it's a sentiment one Miami Valley family knows well. Part of their village, the folks at United Rehabilitation Services, it's an example of what's working in Dayton. On a typical day, All set. Five-year-old Max relies on mom and dad for most of his basic needs. I mean, it's really not that hard of a job because he's so sweet and cute, but... But for Casey and Jason Boston, there are some things that require extra effort, like getting dressed in the morning. He has joints that hyperextend and his fingers move in the wrong direction, so getting him in a shirt isn't always the way you would dress a typical child. The Bostons learned about Max's chromosome disorder when Casey was pregnant. His condition is so rare, there are no other cases with his exact makeup. So it's really been a trial and error and learn as we go process uh, for not just our family, but the multiple specialists that we've seen. Throughout his five years, Max has seen more than 20 specialists. Before they discovered United Rehabilitation Services, Casey was taking two to three hour lunch breaks every week to get Max to his different therapies. Now, five days a week, he goes to preschool, daycare, and therapy services all in one place. So, uh, URS has been really helpful in giving us that time back and that comfort knowing that there are nurses on staff. So, if something does go south with him quickly, they're right there and they know to call. Most recently, Max has been experiencing seizures, and one of his teachers did make that call. Casey made it just in time. As I'm talking to the teacher, maybe for five or six seconds, he starts having a seizure. Casey says the teachers cleared the classroom immediately while a nurse got his emergency medication and they called 911. They were very, very supportive. The teachers stayed in the room with me um, when the ambulance arrived and to help explain what he had been like leading up to that moment. And um, they were just super, super great. As they learn more about Max's condition, the Bostons say their goal is to help Max become the best version of himself and to be able to care for himself as best he can. The staff at URS play a big role. They are, you know, one of the things I really like about URS, they're really great communicators, and I do get like text messages from his preschool teacher. She sends me pictures of his day. They also send Max home with special projects and artwork so mom can proudly display them. A reminder of the connections he's making every day, something his parents hope he'll carry into adulthood at URS. They'll, you know, know him from when he was going there as a preschooler and build that relationship, and it really is about relationships. And you can join us for our annual telethon to benefit URS right here on WDTN this Sunday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's presented by IBEW and NECA. Brian, Mark, and I will be here taking your pledges.